I'll do what I can to, 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 to try to keep you financially afloat. We're losing money now. Oh, God. Y your awful financial planning oh, has no, bankrupted making... our country. Oh, God. You're going to destroy our nation. Okay. I'm, I'm ruining every... I mean, listen, I didn't say it would be a good ruler. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, so how do we get more money then? All right, did you get that pop-up? Yep, I got a pop-up that we explored more of Africa. Okay, so basically, whenever you get that, there's a new alert at the top saying, Explorer ready! We have a fleet that is commanded by an explorer that's not currently exploring. It's just a, an alert to let you know you've got to click and go tell them to explore some other place. Okay. I, not to get on my complaining horse here, but I personally hate this mechanic and think it's absolutely freaking stupid. I don't think that it's necessary for the the military and political leader of a country to say, go explore. Then he comes back three months later. I'm all done, sir. Okay, go explore. Three months yeah. later, go explore. Just fucking explore. Go fucking, <laughs> go find all of it. Just go explore. <laughs> like, it's super tedious. But yeah, you got to tell him to go explore the coast now. Because he's too stupid to, to know that he should keep exploring. <laughs> God, is it dumb. Makes me so mad. <laughs> Is, is it because he's dumb, or is it because we have unreasonable expectations? I think it's because he's <laughs> dumb. He's, he, I don't know, what, what is his name, Diogo? Uh, More, yeah. He, he's just, he's, he's the mentally... He's not the brightest, he's deficient not the brightest guy. ...deficient cousin or something. Alright, so he's gonna go now, and look, we found a new country. New people for whoa, us to attack. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we got, hold on, oh man, we, I got a ton of things going on. There's a bunch of people who are declaring war, we're totally finding new countries, we found Mali. Ooh, cool. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty neat. Getting some pop-ups about the Emir Emirian yeah. Succession War? I was just about to read that. Uh, my king, Santiski, has gone to war with Georgia. The old king of Imer <laughs> Im Imeriti? How do you say that? I just call it Imerti, but I always Imeriti? say all the all the countries wrong, so... Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't well, know. That his throne should be passed to Georgia on the event of his death. However, Santiski claims that the old king was not of sound mind, and they should have... Um, and they should have the throne of Imiti. This could be a long and bloody struggle. And our exploration is finished. Yep, so I grabbed those. There's nothing else to explore, so we'll just tell that fleet to go protect trade again. Okay. Uh, which, if you want, you, I can walk you through that again, or we could just worry about that later. It's up to you. Uh, you can tell me how to do that again, because i I'd rather okay. remember than not. All right, so it's the exact same thing as with the exploration. Just grab the fleet, yep. go go to your mission, a select mm -hmm. mission, you can use the M key, and then instead of exploring, you're just gonna choose protect, protect trade. trade. And then okay. the way you decide where to send them is much more complicated, but basically, even though the tooltip lies, just go down the list of available trade nodes and find the one that has the biggest number, and then send your fleet there. In this case, okay. it is Safi. Um, we have the one where it's 113, so I'm just gonna send it, do I send it there? So, Sel Sevilla? Sevilla? Sevilla. Sevilla. We're from Portugal. Don't you speak Portuguese? No. Why'd you choose this country? I don't know, man. I just, I, I just <laughs> thought it was cool. Actually, she didn't, you didn't get to choose. I, I, I know. <laughs> I kind of forced it on you. <laughs> Okay, so time is passing. Uh, if you want to explore, what we need is something called ideas. So let's go F1 and then 6. So in order to get ideas, we need technology. Once we have technology, we'll be able to use something called idea groups, which kind of shape our country, how we want to build it. Okay. So right now we're on technology 444. We've got level 4 administrative, level 4 diplo, level 4 military. You see the little, like, light bulbs? under the administrative technology one that's saying the next admin technology we take gets us our first idea group. And then if you go one more of these headers over to the ideas, mm -hmm. that's where we can then choose these idea groups. And this is how we start exploring and like finding the new world. 
Okay, so I'm assuming we should aim to take that next. Yep, basically we just have to let the game run until we have enough monarch points to unlock the technology to explore. Okay. Or we could go kill some more filthy no. heathens. No, 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 you, I'm not taking that bait. You don't want to go and attack Morocco? <laughs> but they don't believe in the same things that we do, and that means that they're wrong. Care. They can just <laughs> sit there and be mad about it. You don't want to just attack them? That, I don't understand. Where's the warmonger? No, this is how we got into the war last time, I'm pretty sure. You were, yeah, we could just attack and we could just take this, and then it's my fault that we got the war. No, I'm pretty sure you declared. <gasps> I. Our military leader has left us! King, we have ill news. The General Earl of Arvanches will no longer serve us. He died in the army camp in Lisboa. He died too soon. Oh, wow. He, he died too soon without being able to accomplish much of note. Yeah. Crap. Yeah, he's he, he We're leaderless now. We're we're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, did you hear oh, that little another thing too? Um The Burgers? <laughs> the bur 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 Burgers? I don't know how to say it properly. Sorry guys, it's gonna be a lot of poor pronunciation here. Of several prominent cities are accusing the clergy of being greedy and indolent. The pious commoners are now withholding the I, I don't even know these words. Um You can just read the decisions if you want. You don't have yeah, to Yeah, that's great. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go put myself through that because there's a lot of vocabulary there I clearly didn't study. Uh okay. So basically we have to either force them to pay or a mild reprimand will be enough. If we force them to pay, we gain twenty seven ducats and we lose twenty five percent local autonomy in Aviero. And the clergy state gains 15% loyalty, burgers lose 15, clergy gains 10 influence, and the burgers loses 10 influence. If we mildly reprimand them, the clergy state loses 15 loyalty, and the clergy state loses 10 influence. If you press F1 and then F4, you can go to the estates tab for our country and see like the loyalty level of each of those, those classes of people and help use these numbers to help you decide which one of those options to take. It sounded like the first one wasn't too bad. Basically upset the bourgeoisie in order to make the clergy happier. We want to make the Pope happy, right? Because we're Catholic, so we'd like the clergy to be happy with us. Yeah, and I was gonna- I was actually going to say we must force them to pay. Go ahead. You can role play it if you want, sure. <laughs> Speaking of, uh... Monarch points and, and stuff. We can also demand 150 monarch points from the clergy if you'd like. That's a pretty good Boost to our monarch points. So I would take that click. Okay, so we should demand administrative power. Yes Also, uh, there's a new alert at the top of the screen and there was a horn that played a little while back. Did you hear that little dun da da da? No, I turned all the stuff off so it <laughs> didn't feedback. Ah Okay, well Basically, the coring is done. The The land now in Gibraltar and Malaga is officially a territory of Portugal. It's oh, not... nice. Yeah, I see that. You can make states. Yep, so we have enough available slots, basically, for states. If you go F1, 0. Yep. You can see that we currently have four states and one territory, and our current government like capacity for states is 15. So we have plenty of room. Our government can handle more states. So if we want to, we can say, hey, this is a, a proper core part of our country and turn it into a state instead of a territory, which you should almost always do if you can. So just click on the alert at the top, says you can make a state, you can make states. Yep. And then it'll say Upper Andalusia, territory of Upper Andalusia. There's this little, green, uh, little blue flag. Upper Andalusia is a territory. Click that and then turn a territory into a state. Where's the little blue flag? So if you... If you're seeing the regular province oh, interface... Oh, it's a territory. Click to make it a state. Got it. Yep. Okay. Now we have another alert saying some of your provinces lack cores, and you might be thinking, well, hold on, we already cored it. The game breaks down coring and, and saying a province is part of a core part of your country into two phases. You either... You core it halfway to make it a territory, and then you have to pay the price again to make it from a territory into a full core. So we got to pay another 50 admin points, basically. 
Great. Okay, so we have to make the core again for both of them. Yep. But what that does, a territory can't be reduced below 75% autonomy. Okay. Um, the, the concept of autonomy I think we talked about, but basically high autonomy means that you get nothing out of the province. It's very autonomous. And uh, a territory is very autonomous. It, it can't go below 75% autonomy. A full core can go all the way down to 0% autonomy. So you get all of the all of the value out of the province, basically. Okay. So, we're good. That's we paid lot. the points. I forgot how number you this game is. <laughs> I gotta practice. It appears that our air is malevolent. Been spending too much time with you and your crusades. How rude! What? You <laughs> murdered the Granadans. You removed them from the map. Wasn't my call. You, you coerced me to murder them. To be fair, if I were playing on my own, I would have murdered them a long time ago, so... <laughs> it's totally fine, but technically you're the one that removed them from the map. Now, because the cores are complete... You overwhelming her explaining everything? Yeah, but how else do you learn E4, you know? like I mean, yeah. like, yeah, it is a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, like, slowly, like, processing. I'm like, yes, I'm following, I'm following. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm following. <laughs> Let's um let's give the Gibraltar and the Malaga peoples uh, a break. We'll we'll tax them a little bit less and expect a little bit less money out of them in order to try to prevent them from rebelling. So if you look at the, the two provinces, we've got thirteen mm -hmm. unrest. And there's a little button there with a plus. We can increase the autonomy there by twenty five and reduce I specifically unrest. Get to that menu. Just click on the province of Gibraltar or Malaga, and if you're not seeing that, it's probably because you're on the state tab. Yep, I am. So you just click on this one over here. Malaga. Or you could press S to switch back and forth between the two. Got it. Okay. S for switch. Or state. And then so there's 13 unrest there. So I'm going to click this one in uh, Malaga. And by doing that, we're we're going to make less money. But now there's only three unrest and we're going to probably be able to avoid a rebellion. So we don't have to sacrifice Portuguese lives to fight the heathens. And if you want, you can do that in Gibraltar as well, or you could just ignore it, and we can fight some re some rebels. It's up to you. I took care no, of one I'd province. Rather, I'd rather not have to deal with rebels. You take care of the other. That's your job. Oh, oh man, chat's man mentioning ice cream again, because I think the last time we played, I, I like ate ice cream and just let you pilot the country. I'm going to go... Oh, yeah, and it was a, that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna do that again. That sounds like a great idea. No, please no. Ice cream. <laughs> so now that the land is cored, we have a, a new alert saying that we can convert provinces to Catholic. Heck yeah. It would take 555 months to convert the province of Gibraltar. So the way I know that, again, you just, there's an alert, you click on it. Anytime there's an alert, you just, just click on it and it'll, it'll yeah, yeah. kind of take you to the problem. Um, and then it says that the province of Gibraltar is representative of like 2.1% of the unity of our religion in our country. So if we converted it, we would become more unified. It would cost us 0.39 ducats a month to do the conversion, which is not too bad. But 555 months, that's kind of a long time. Um, that's, you know, 46 and a half years. So what if we were to make it faster? How do we do that? All right, go ahead and click on Gibraltar. You also haven't raised the autonomy there, by the way. Oh, I thought I did. Yeah, you got to click on Gibraltar, and then you, you see there's no comp, no no confirmation pop up. So be careful. There's a minus autonomy and an increase autonomy. There you go. There we go. Sorry, I thought I did it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the Upper Andalusia state screen. Mm -hmm. Press S, and now that it's a state, we have access to state edicts. You can click the View Edicts button. Mm -hmm. And one of the options is in there is to enforce religious unity, which increases local missionary strength by 1%. So go ahead, we can just turn that on. And that gives us an extra 1% strength to our missionary. So now when we click the You Can Convert Provinces to Catholic button, it's only going to take 83 months instead of 555, which is much, much better. Much better. 83 months is still pretty long, about seven years, but... It's, it's more reasonable. 
We can take it one okay. step further. Uh, if we wanted to, oh, we could. Okay, I will not click it. Oops. Oh, it's fine. It, it doesn't matter. It, it's going to take time and like you can still work on it. Like if we wanted to in a year, we could cancel that edict and it would just okay. slow it down and like the progress would just be slower, but it, it maintain it. But if we want to look at our advisors, it's possible we could just hire an inquisitor to, you know, go do the inquisition. Root out all those non-believers. <laughs> oh um, god. We don't currently have an inquisitor available. So if you go F1 and then the number one, we're back to our advisors screen. Right now we have Afonso de Albuquerque, who is a theologian. He reduces unrest. We have a spy master and we have Marco who increases morale of armies. If you click on their portrait, you can see that there are no inquisitors. We could go ask the, the clergy to give us an inquisitor. But right now, a big part of the reason why these guys are not rebelling is because we have that theologian who is reducing unrest. So mm -hmm. I think we just leave it and just, you know, not worry about it. Now, okay. shockingly, doing the missionary conversion is going to make them mad. <laughs> it's going to raise unrest. <laughs> Trying to make them abandon their heathen ways is going to raise unrest. So just because you can do it doesn't mean you have to. You know, if, if you want, we could just wait a few years and then convert it so there's no risk of rebellion. Or we could just genocide these people right out of here and um, convert their... Wait. I'm cool with waiting. All right. Well, then just make sure the missionaries do nothing and then we're good to go. Okay. I don't know who you are anymore. You don't, you don't like genocide. You don't like... I know. You don't I'm like sorry. warmongering. It's, <laughs> this is not going to work out. <laughs> 2019, New Year, New Me, you know. No genocide of uh, religions or countries or peoples, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to be chill. You just want to accept everyone? Let them believe what they want to believe. <laughs> There's an idea group for that. It's called Humanist. Listen, I'm just trying to be a good ruler. Ooh, unha unhappiness among the peasantry. Conflicts and protests over taxes. Landlord cruelty. Expropriation. Serfdom and custom policies have become quite frequent. If we don't manage to solve the problem soon, the cons consequences could be dire. We rule as we see fit. Try to improve the situation. Wow. Um, gain 10 prestige, lose 1 stability, or lose 33 ducats. We rule as we see fit, don't we? <laughs> so, what you're trying to decide is what's more valuable right now, stability or money. And uh, you're just never going to... I'm not gonna, never gonna stop saying this. <laughs> Money is worthless compared to Monarch Points. Monarch Points are always more valuable. And unfortunately, we just let the game run so long that the game auto-accepted your event. Unless you said we res Did you click it? I did click it. <laughs> <laughs> see, she just says, we, you know, goddamn peasants, we rule as we see fit. Shut up. Stop complaining. So you just cause instability. Why are they not appreciating me? Are you are you at all related to uh, Enrique or anything? Are you like a, <laughs> a, a a famous historical awful ruler or something? Oh no! Okay, so we've we've just lost stability, which uh, is bad, but that's that's fine. It's, I mean, whatever. I'm just it's just fine. I, this is interesting. I mean, you could just you just <laughs> click whatever you feel is right. So what you so, so you know what that is? You just basically you spent a hundred monarch points. You spent a hundred admin points instead of thirty three diplo points. Sorry, thirty three admin points. Thirty three ducats. Jeez, words. You basically yeah. You, you basically just said let them eat cake. You know that quote? Look, yeah, I know that quote. Look at my hair. Of course, let them eat cake. The peasants are upset. Wigs. There's no Whenever bread. Have a wig right up there I can put on. Well, just let them eat cake, you stupid peasants. God, why are they complaining I about the bread? the perfect wig for this. <laughs> All right, and with that, I'm going to go get some some ice cream and, and you know, good luck, peasants. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll be right back. One sec. You guys okay. keep playing. Go ahead. Have fun. It's yeah. Truce will expire. Okay. Disputing secession. Oh my god, what's happening? Chat, please, chat, help me. Riot, Portugal will collapse. Come on!